Undead pirates have taken over the wilderness and today I plan to kill 1000 of them to find out how good is the money here. These pirates are only level 28 but they drop insane items like dragon scimitars, laran keys and new items like zombie keys. These new items give you access to the undead zombie chest. So without further ado, let's find out how much money you can make with this update. Okay. It is 5 minutes until the update, but I want to set myself up already so I can be the first one there and take advantage of this while there aren't any peekers around. So, first things first, I'm gonna set up my cannon over here and then bank so I have 4 extra inventory spaces. Now, I'm gonna wait on this side of the island because there's supposed to be another access point from the lower side so you have more escape routes and you don't get choked into one place. I have my cannon there and yeah, let's do this. Oh my god, it is so laggy right now. And my cannon is gone. Okay, that is awesome. Um, You know what, give me a second. Let me go get my cannon back. Oh my god, there's so many drops. Oh, and there's the new item, Adam and Seeds. I want to go sell the new items as fast as possible because I know for a fact that the price is dropping pretty fast. Also, the kills are coming in like super quick. I mean, they are only level 28, so it's just one shutting them basically, but I'm very surprised right now. One thing that's going to be really annoying is probably the teleblock. If PKers come here, there is absolutely no chance I'm actually making out alive. Oh, and there it is, the first zombie pirate key, and that is supposed to unlock the new chest, and I'll show you that later on in the video as well. Oh my god, that's a Larens key, what? These are level 28 NBCs, this is insane money by the way. I have been here for 5 minutes and I already made like a million GP. Okay, trip number 1 completed, was about 100 KC and it took me like 7 minutes, maybe less. I wanna see how much the new items sell for. Let's sell the adamant seeds first. Oh my god, that's 400k. And that's another 100k. Okay, that was 500k extra for such a short amount of time. I'm not kidding. Looking at the loot tab right now, I just made like 1.1 million GP in 7 minutes. The interesting thing is the loot table right now. There's so much weird stuff these zombies drop, like battle staffs, cannonballs, blighted supplies, runes, alcohols. It's like a godsend for a mid level player. I guess the goal for Jagex was to make low level wilderness more exciting, so they made this insane moneymaker that mid level players can hunt. This being multi wilderness is kinda scary though. Like it's day one currently, but I guarantee you teams are gonna camp this so heavily, which means solo players will never have a chance. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what the adamant seeds do, Basically, you could use the metro seeds to go one way and only one way, but now you can also use the adamant seeds to go the opposite way, which I guess is really beneficial for peekers. And I think this is going to be a really good item to invest in because they are going to be degradable. So if you use the adamant seeds, it disappears and peekers will always and forever need this item. You know what the good thing is about these zombies? They always respawn extremely fast, so you don't have any downtime. The kills are coming in super, super fast. And that is trip number 2 completed, let's go immediately sell the new items again. Let's sell the adamant seeds first, what do we get? Ah, uh, okay, I mean that's already pretty low, that's like 2k each. And the zombie geese go for, oh my god, what? That's 600k for 2 geese. That took me 3 minutes to get, oh what, this is an insane money maker, yo. Okay, let's go again, I need to milk this as much as possible. Okay, I'm kinda scared, already seeing some players here, it's been pretty quiet so far. Seen few peekers here and there, but th that's about it. Oh, I had to say it, I had to say it, oh my god. Go here, go, go this way, go this way, please don't freeze me, please. No, just keep eating, just keep eating, okay, okay, okay. I mean, okay, that was pretty dank. I mean, you just can't escape. There is nowhere to go. Okay, we're back. Yeah, basically, I've come to the realization that if any type of team comes at you, there is no escape in this place. You are teleblocked 24 7 by the Chaos Druids, you are in multi zone, and you have to bring mage all the time. And the nearest exit to wilderness is like 100 million miles away. So, my recommendation for anyone who wants to make money here would be that just bring three items and a cannon. That's it. It's kind of like Revenants in a sense. You get so much alcohol loot, but unlike Revenants, this is multi -son. Oh, and there's another pirate key. That is plus 300k. What? Did the level 28 zombie just drop a dragon scimitar? What? Yo, Jagex. These NPCs are level 28 and 34. What are we doing here? 
I don't think they should drop dragon scimitars. Am I wrong here? By the way, isn't it kind of funny that level 28 NBC has better drop rates than the level 129 NBC right next to it? I feel like we've gotten something mixed up here. I mean, I can't complain. I think it's currently like 6 million GP an hour here. But all I'm thinking, should we put this kind of moneymaker on such low level monsters? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, I want to try out the Web Weaver bow here because even though the Eclipse at Ladal is good, it's really good. I think the Web Weaver bow is just much better. It's also more expensive, but I just care about my kills per hour right now. Which, by the way, we're at 500 KC mark and it's been like 45 minutes so far. Oh, and just 30 seconds later, we get another Laren's key plus 150k just like that. Hey, there's a zombie barracky. I actually really love this place. It just randomly dumps out so much gold. And there's another zombie key, bro. This, okay, this is unbelievable. I made like 500k in 20 seconds again. And that's another successful trip. By the way, just for anyone wondering, I think there's a bug right now that you don't lose your teleblock if you leave the wilderness. So you kind of have to log out. That's the only way to get rid of teleblock. No, 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 please. Please, I don't consent to be king. Pick up the key, pick up the key, <laughs> that's the important part, what am I doing? Just go, just go, just go, just go. No freeze, please. Ah, they gotta freeze, okay. Yo, how many are there here, what? You need like 20 people to kill me, bro. Really? What is this drop party we have going on here, oh my god. It, it's impossible, it is impossible, you can't escape that, you just can't. And with this pirate we have finally hit 1000 KC of undead pirates in about... 90 minutes, I want to say. Oh, there are peakers here. Okay, I am out. I'm just simply out. I think they were dark bow rushing. Oh, that's kind of nice. But yeah, it's that fast. 1000 KC in about 90 minutes. If you don't count the deaths, it's extremely fast. You can get like 700 kills per hour here. Okay, let's go sell all the loot now. So, firstly, the 2.6 million GP I made by just selling the keys. And let's sell all the other loot as well to see what we get. Hey, this is Kribus from the future talking. I forgot to add in few items like parastas and herbs I got, which I added extra 1 million GP on top of that. But the end result was pretty impressive. In 90 minutes, I managed to make roughly 7 million GP from this new update, which brought it a little bit less than 5 million GP per hour moneymaker. Keep in mind that Amulet of Avarice notes all the loot at the zombies, just like in Revenant Caves. But I didn't wear that at the time, which probably would have added like an extra 1 million GP per hour, just because you don't really have to bank. At the altar you have infinite prayer and noted loot which is extremely good. And also these are day one prices. I'll put a thousand KC on the screen for you which gives you a better idea of the prices and there's some extra money I made from collateral damage by the chaos druids. So roughly when everything comes together this is 5 million GP hour money maker right now. And all of it was done by killing level 28 zombies. Yes it's that crazy. I want to test this out. I want to see how valuable these keys actually are. So I'm going to spend some money here. Please don't look at this. It's going to be extremely expensive. Oh, that was 9.2 million GP for 50 zombie keys. Okay, let's go see how much we get back. I think this is the fastest way to the zombie chest. I just teleported next to the sawmill. And then I just run to level 14 wilderness where the chest is. Here we go. Let's see what the chest offers us. So basically how these keys are supposed to work is that you just get double loot rolls based off the zombies loot table. So for example, if the level 28 zombie drops 3 battle staff, you now have a chance to obtain 6 battle staff from here. So far it seems pretty mild to say the least. And we are done. Okay, I probably just wasted 9 million GP on nothing, if I'm being honest with you. I didn't get anything special, just some alcohols. And after I sell everything, I get 900k GP back, so we lost a nice 8 million GP by opening that chest. Nice. That also, I think, puts one key value around 20k each, which I'm expecting to be the real value in the future. Oh, and one more thing. There was an item that I didn't get, which was the teleport anchoring scroll. And basically, it removes that annoying part at the Abyssal Demons where you get teleported around. But I think that scroll is like giga rare drop. Because I ended up killing 1000 pirates and I didn't see it once. So I'm estimating around 1 in 500 drop rate for that. This was loot from 1000 undead pirates. It's an insane moneymaker for mid-level players. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe. I love you all very much. Bye. Mwah.